Hi everyone, uh, before we get to this week's tutorial, I just wanted to quickly take a look at this go time and how it's sort of worn on my nails over the last two weeks. So this is just with a thin coat of first and last underneath of it. I haven't done any building with flex at all, so there's not a whole lot of strength here. And as you can see on the sides, it's sort of chipped a little bit. But honestly, I'm pretty impressed. After two weeks, it's still really shiny. Other than a few nicks here and there, they're in really great shape. So overall, really enjoying the go time. Um, and so, yeah, so this week for the tutorial, I am doing a little bit more of a close-up version of these hand-drawn roses that I did last week. This week, I'm starting off with some go time juice me. Uh, it's this really pretty orange color that I have on my nails. So I'm just gonna give these two nails a quick buff because this go time does cure with a shiny top coat. Um, I wanna just get rid of that shiny layer so that I have a nice rough surface for this gel to stick to. And then I'm just gonna give that a quick cleanse with some after wipe to get rid of the dust. And I'm gonna make my stripes first. So I'm taking the white gel paint from Light Elegance and with my uber chic detail brush, I'm just gonna place roughly a straight line where I want my first line to be. And then taking my uber chic cleanup brush, I'm just gonna perfect that line a little bit. And once I'm happy with the way it looks, I'm just gonna give it a quick 10 to 20 second cure just to freeze it in place. And I'm just gonna do a couple more lines down the rest of my nail. Okay, now for the roses this time, I'm going to use Show Me the Honey for the main part of the rose. So with the detail brush again, I'm just going to place kind of st strategically, but it's just going to end up looking like a big blob kind of. <laughs> but I'm sort of planning in my head where my petals are going to go. And then to line them this time, I'm going to take Let's Pollinate and I'm going to take my number one bling stylus from Light Elegance. And I'm just going to drag in some rough lines where my petals are going to go. So starting in the middle, just to have a bit of a reference point, I make the center of my flower. And then wiping in between every time I touch this so I get nice clean lines. I'm just gonna draw in some petals. And then I'm gonna come back in with some of the light color and kind of marble or swirl together where I've laid down these petals. So it's kind of like an abstract hand-drawn rose. You can use the light color to almost move the dark color where you want it to go. And then I'm just gonna give that a quick cure and I'm gonna add on a couple little leaves. So today I'm gonna use the mint chocolate. And with my detail brush again, I'm going to lay down a rough shape of a leaf. So a little bit wider at the base to a skinnier tip. And then for my dark color today, I'm gonna to come in with Lime of the Party. And using my bling stylus, I'm just gonna draw a nice little line for where I want the shadow of my leaf to be. And once you're happy with that, you can give it a full cure. Uh, it's one minute in LED or two minutes in UV. And then you're gonna finish that off with whatever top coat you like. Today I'm using the flat matte from Light Elegance and giving that a full cure. And as always, giving that a quick cleanse with some after wipe and finishing it off with some cuticle oil. Today I'm using the rose oil from Young Nails and giving that a quick rub. And there you have it. The hand painted or hand drawn roses that I did last week a little bit closer up so you can see a little better how I'm doing things. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Don't forget to subscribe and comments and questions in the section below. If you have any suggestions, feel free to email me at tessa at nailbasics.ca.